Welcome to Cooking with Jonathan. Today we're going to be making an ultra premium select vanilla butterfinger cake. And before we get started, I just want to give you guys a little update because I know I've been gone for a while. I, we are out of school. We got out of school two days ago, so I can try to start picking up some YouTube stuff. This is actually the script for my new movie that's coming out in about a month or two. Uh, it is entirely done. Oh, not going to show that. I'll show you guys the title page though. Blackout 2. Mr. Sanders script is right here. I've got all the other scripts sitting right behind you guys. And we're actually going to meet up and have a kind of coffee and conference thing on the 26th. We're all, everyone in the movies and then go have coffee. We're gonna uh, look at the script, go through it, make sure everyone agrees on it. If they do, they're all gonna take home their scripts and we're gonna get to studying. Um, that next month in June, uh, I think, is it June or May? I don't know. The month after the one we're currently in right now, we're gonna film the movie. Hopefully that's done soon and we can get that edited and smacked out. It's definitely coming out this summer, so look forward to that. I know we rushed a lot of the other movie, but this one is gonna be a lot better. We got a but much better camera that we're borrowing for this movie, so it's gonna be a lot higher quality. We're gonna do a lot of slow motion shots and more special effects, and it's gonna be really, really quiet. I'd be hyped. Anyways, we're not focused on that today. We're focused on making an ultra premium select Butterfinger vanilla cake. So the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some soap to wash your hands. I'm not sponsored by anyone here, but if you, if you want to sponsor me, then please do. A blender for blending things. You're gonna need some vegetable oil. We use canola oil here for some reason. It's supposed to help your heart, but I think any oil is really gonna clog your arteries up. A 13 by nine glass pan is what I'll be using, but you can use your uh, premium select pans if you'd like. You're gonna need some cooking spray so that don't, don't stick to the pan, because we can't have that or else we can't eat it. Again, this is some kind of Low cholesterol oil. Yeah, whatever. Your vanilla cake mix of your choosing. One cup of the earth sauce, water for your noobs. You're going to need three eggs. I've got one in this like measuring cup here because it's kind of like cracked, but I cracked it, it didn't come cracked. Don't use cracked eggs because they could probably have contaminants in them. But this is sitting in a one third uh, spoon here. For your vegetable oil, you're gonna need one of those or just use the measuring cup when you got the water out of it. And the thing that makes this the ultra premium select vanilla butterfinger cake, the butterfinger baking bites. I'm sure you can just crumple up a thing of butterfinger and just throw it in there without having to pay all the extra money for this, but they say that this isn't meant for baking and I was requested to make this even though I don't really prefer butterfinger. They should make Reese's baking bites. I bet they do, we should have done that, but that's what you're gonna need. Let's get ba bacon, bakers. Step one, wash those hands. You don't know where those have been and neither do I. So, you, you know, just, you, you've been taught to wash your hands. You don't need my help. And we're actually gonna go over to our cake making station. All right, so welcome to my cake making station. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is plug this in right here. That's always good to plug in your blender. Now what you're gonna do, if my thing has this little tilt release right here, boom, done. And then these are color coded so they don't pop out of their holes. We got this one that goes in the blue section. You just kind of whoop. And then this one, bam. Once you've got your blender all hooked up, we're gonna move over to our stove as you've seen in our Ultra Premium Select Grilled Cheese video. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this to 350 degrees if you're using a glass pan like I am. So we're gonna click bake and 350. We're ready to go. And one last preparation step. Get your glass pan mix. Have to drop it. Have adult supervision if you're handling glass. And we're gonna get our oil, shake this low cholesterol oil up, pop that sucker open and act like you're spray painting, but don't actually spray paint this because you could probably get sick from that. And boop, boop, you don't need a whole lot of this or else your cake is gonna get all greasy. There you go. I hate tripods so much. God, this angle sucks. So we're at our cake baking station after we got our pan all greased up and our oven preheating. We're gonna go ahead and use some scissors to open up this cake mix because I don't feel like it having exploding everywhere. So take your cake mix, make sure you don't have any plastic in there because that could be extremely bad. And dump her in. This is an ultra premium select Butterfinger vanilla cake. So you better make sure you get all that mix in there because your family's gonna be all over this. You wanna make sure you got enough to supply them with. Then you're gonna take exactly one cup, not more, not less, one drop, one cup of water, and you're gonna kinda 
help the blender out and mix it in there a little bit. Now we're done with this. And we're gonna take our one third spoon, go ahead and get our vegetable oil, and fill it up exactly. Do not go over, because then you have an oily cake, and that's not good. So make sure you get that exactly, and we're done with this spoon as well. Then you're gonna wanna take your warm eggs, at least mine are from having to adjust this camera so much, <laughs> and you're gonna take your warm egg, and you're gonna crack it. Make sure you don't get any uh, eggshell in there, because that would taste pretty nasty. And this one's pretty gooey. Come on, there you go. Uno, dos, come on. Tres. I'm gonna wipe my hands off because I don't want to get sick from that. You should probably wash your hands, but ain't nobody got time to wash your hands. And I kind of bamboozled myself. I put the measuring cup in the dirty sink when we actually needed it for these uh, bites. We're gonna need a cup and three fourths of these Butterfinger bites. So I'm gonna have to put in a bunch of these quarter cups and um, just go from there. But go ahead and add these in now. So it wound up being the whole bag. Apparently they had that already pre-mixed. I wish they would've just told me one bag. But uh, I totally made that number up. It's on that for another recipe. So we're gonna hope this is good. Gonna go ahead and lower this thing. Grab ourselves a spoon so we can mix it up better. And we're gonna turn this to a low to medium speed. Oh my God, please don't do that. There we go, that's better. And we're gonna move this off to the side because a mine can do that. And we're gonna go ahead and start mixing. Hopefully this doesn't turn out nasty. This is actually starting to look really good. Are you sure about that? It does kind of look like dog throw up, but as long as it tastes good, right? It's definitely super thick. I'm hoping that the cake will still be a fluffy white and then we've got the, the Butterfinger in there. I'm sure it will taste good and we can cover it up with the icing, but this was a bad idea. I just made this recipe up right now. And this is what I got when it's all done. I'm not sure if it looks any better on camera, but it turned orange and there's flakes in there and it, it looks disgusting. But we're gonna cross our fingers and hope it turns out good. I just left the blender on when I'm freaking fixing the tripod. All right, so welcome back to our general station. The mix is actually mixing over there. I helped it out a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the bowl over here and we're gonna finish up. It actually smells a lot better than I thought it would, so that's good. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our batter and we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in here. It actually kinda looked a little bit better than it did, but it still does not look good. And boom. It kinda looks like a big Butterfinger. This is, I think this is actually gonna be really good. Are you sure about that? Now this is the Ultra Premium Select Butterfinger Vanilla Cake. Don't get that mixed up with the Ultra Premium Butterfinger Vanilla Cake. So you're gonna wanna make sure to get all this icing out. I've been here for about three minutes trying to get all this out. And I think we are finally there, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off. And I'm gonna take my spoon that I was using to get all that out. And I'm just gonna kinda mix this around, get this in all the corners, so it can help make it a lot more appealing and flat. So it will rise up all together, hopefully. And we're just kinda flatten this out like this. And we are looking good. Now these Ultra Premium Select cakes do have a very specific time to be cooked. If you go over, then you're not gonna have a very good cake. So what we're gonna wanna do, open up our oven right here. Don't let too much heat escape because then you got a problem. And we're gonna go ahead and put our cake in, kinda center it as much as possible so it gets even heat. Go ahead and close that sucker up and go immediately to your timer, 23 minutes. That's for a 13 by nine last pan. We're gonna go ahead and let that cook and I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's done. So it's been about the time that it's baked. We're gonna put our oven mitts on, open this sucker up, we're gonna end our timer. I can't even know. Let's see what it looks like. So I don't know what happened, but the cake is literally liquid. Um, this is not good. The edges of the cake are fine, they're pretty crusty, but I did the uh, toothpick thing and it's liquid. Um, the entire center like floats, but the edges are crispy. It's the exact recipe. There's just Butterfinger uh, bites in it, so I don't know what happened, but this could be really bad. It's looking like we're gonna just have to throw this one away. I'm glad I got this on camera.
So it's already been in for 23 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back and check it out for five, but if it's not done in 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna explode. So, um, first fail. All right, so we're going for round two. I don't know how long this is gonna go. I'm actually starting to get kind of weird because I'm home alone and I don't know what to do with this because it's kind of hot. Can you shut up? Anyways, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this out and we're gonna see what we've got. It's starting to kind of look better, I think. Are you sure about that? I think what I didn't take into consideration was how much we were putting into the batter, making it bigger and needing more cooking time. I've already added 10 minutes on to the 23, so it's been 32 minutes. I don't know how much longer we're gonna have it. I don't know I'm not taking it out of the oven. It's not liquid anymore, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead and give it the toothpick test because it's getting better. We just didn't account for how much more batter we were putting in, and it needed a longer cooking time. Toothpick test. It has come out not super clean. We're gonna give it one more. They're not really coming out clean. I think I'm gonna put it in for another 10 minutes. Um, check it every five minutes like I did last time. But it, it has cooked. It just needs to do a little bit more. I'm kind of scared by the indentations around it, but that could just be unequal baking. We're gonna see. We're gonna put it in for another 10 minutes and see how it goes. This is why you don't cook like without supervision, kids. All right, back to work on the movie. All right, so that's gonna conclude this video. I put it in for 20 more minutes than the instructions said to do because of the uh, pieces. I slowly built it up there. It wasn't just like smacking it for 20 minutes and see how it comes out. Every five minutes I would check it and it seems like now I've done the toothpick. It seems pretty burnt, but we're gonna see tonight how it tastes. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and shut this oven off before I forget. So that should be off. Make sure you turn your oven off and I'm gonna let this sit and cool down before I ice it. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching how to make an ultra premium select vanilla butterfinger cake. Uh, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for Blackout 2. Meow.